Welcome back to Is It Playable. In this video we'll be taking a look at whether The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is playable with Dolphin within Retroarch. And if the demo is anything to go... to go by... It's playable, but it does stutter a fair bit. It's mostly the intro where it... occurs a fair bit. Yeah, this one is actually running at 60. But I'm pretty certain when in regards to PS2. Oh. No, no, this runs at 30 as well. Alright, never mind. Forget what I said. Yeah, see, it's a bit of a stuttery mess to begin with. But I think it's once it loads an area, and then it, it buffs out and then it's perfect. Well, nearly perfect. Don't sorry, we have to sit through a cutscene. Ba 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 da da ba ba. But yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's. Um. Come on, what I was saying? I was on about PS2, I think, and how that displays as 60 when it's not actually 60. It's half of whatever the, SP the FPS counter displays. I think. There might be a few games that actually do display progressive, but I'm pretty sure 90% of the PS2 library is interlaced. To be fair, some games that I play on GameCube might also be interlaced, but I have a progressive scan hack enabled, so... <laughs> well, the cutscene's at full speed. <laughs> the only downside with Dolphin is because it's a car that's used for two separate platforms, and the plat like one platform is four by three, and the other is sixteen by nine. It's a bit of a pen, but I've just got it set up in such a way that GameCube games don't have widescreen enabled, and Wii games do. Purely because, like, I could have widescreen enabled for GameCube games, but it's not actually widescreen. It just stretches the image to fill the screen. It's basically what is known as fake widescreen. You can usually tell when it's fake, when the character model is, like, extra chunky. I used to be like that, though. I used to like, uh, stretching out the screen. But over the years, I've just not minded black bars. I used to absolutely hate them. I just didn't like that I was using a TV and, you know, some screen space wasn't being used, but... Now I've grown to dislike chunky-looking characters. Because, as a result of them being stretched out. And... game. Oh. And... never mind.
Now it's game time. Hey! I'm just checking it all in. Including performance. It's not been too bad. But as I say, it's only so noticeable because of the bloody... Um... Audio. Hey! Whee! Nice. That's the way it should be. It seems more stable than it was in the demo though, which is a good sign. Oh no. I was gonna go get that rupee. No, is that that kid with the snotty nose? I can't... I don't think it is. No, it isn't. Okay. I don't remember where the kid with the snotty nose is. Oh, uh, you hear him from a mile away, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. Where's the pig? Oh, there. Oh my god. <laughs> now you have to crouch up to it and then stand up, I think. Hey, we got it! Nice. I don't want to throw it. I want to talk. Oh my god. I just threw it. There we go, we got it. Can I just go and give it to her? What? No, you made me drop my bloody pig. Oh, whatever. There's the kid with the snotty nose. Oh, thank God he didn't start to chase me. Oof. Alright, we'll just become the hero of time and then I'll do. Hmm. 
Hey, we did it. <laughs> yeah, this definitely is performed a lot better than the demo. I mean, the demo was a demo. It's an earlier build of the game, so... Not surprising that the game is less stable when you really think about it. But this has, really hasn't been too bad. I think it just has to stutter whenever you get to a new area. Or whenever you get to a transition, maybe. No, this seems fine now. Weird. <laughs> this guy with big head. No, not too bad. So I'd have to say that The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is playable. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a suggestion if you want to see. And until next time, take care.